Hello, do you know how did Tata Sumo get its name? Many people believe that this name Sumo came from Japanese heavyweight wrestling, but no, it has no relationship there. And today I am going to share that story with you. Tata Sumo was the first multi utility vehicle developed within the country produced by Tata Motors. And Sumant Mulgaukar, at one point of time, was the managing director in Tata Motors. He held various other roles and responsibilities in multiple businesses of Tata's over a period of time. And because of his intelligence, his skills, his capabilities, even Government of India took his services on various platforms, including making him a part of Planning Commission at one point of time. And because of the contribution he made to the country in different ways, he was awarded the third highest civilian honor, Padma Bhushan. So, there was a practice in uh, Tata Motors that top executives of the company would have their lunch together. But at one point of time, Sumant Mulgaonkar changed his practice. Just at the lunch time, he would leave the company and at the finish time, he, will, he would be back. And obviously, when anything that happens away from normal, there's a grapevine that starts, there is a whisper that starts, and sometimes there are negative campaigns that start. And people started talking that perhaps he is going to some five-star hotels and having lunches with perhaps the biggest dealers in the country and whatnot. And before they could bring it out in the open or talk about it in the open, they thought, let's verify. And some executives one day followed him. And what surprised them was that Sumant Mulgaonkar goes out of the city and stops at a Thaba. Thaba is a roadside uh, eating joint where most of the drivers tend to stop and have their lunch, relax and stretch out. So he would stop there, buy his own lunch and sit along with drivers and talk to them. And what was the conversation all about? The conversation always revolved around what is the kind of experience they are having driving Tata trucks. And the whole idea of this conversation was to get first-hand feedback, getting to understand what is the user experience. And after having that conversation, he would simultaneously take notes, come back, be on his own drawing board to understand what matters and what may not matter. And after getting himself convinced that there is some strength in some ideas, he would have that interaction with his uh, research and development team, design teams to understand what can be improved. And this is how Tata Motors continue to improve their trucks, continue to improve user experience. And just to recognize this contribution that he was making, the name Sumo came from his name, Sumant Mulgaonkar. SU from Sumant and MO from Mulgaonkar. And this is they, this is how they wanted to remember him for the lifetime. Now the question that I'm asking is, are we doing something ourselves, which includes me also, that leaves a legacy that people remember over a period of time? So here in this particular case, it's all about user experience. What is the kind of experience you are providing to people who are using your products, your services? Are you adding value? Are you continuously improving yourself? What is it that you are adding? So keep on asking these questions so that your contribution over a period of time to your profession, to your work, keeps on going up and people start remembering you for lifetimes. Thank you so much.